Making a good bowl starts with making the perfect tenon. And if you want to make a perfect tenon, use a tool like this. There we have a tight, cute little bowl. And if we want to hollow that from the other side, we first have to make a perfect tenon. When I make tenons, I always use a tool like this. It's a scraper. Oh, Ronald, are you using scrapers? Yes, I use a scraper every now and then. This was a perfect normal scraper. It was a, a straight scraper, so it had a perpendicular edge on the, on the end of the tip, on the tip of the tool. Um, but I've changed that a little bit so that it fits perfectly into the corner of my dovetail jaws. So now it is easy for me to make a perfect tenon. So let's see how this functions in real life. There's my handy dandy measuring tool. These, this line is dovetail number two from one way. And there I go again, using my scraper, my carp scraper, and um, making a dovetail. Making a dovetail tenon, of course. And there it is. I left the tenon not as deep as the jaws are, because I don't want the tenon to touch the bottom of my jaws. And this line here is perfectly perpendicular to the spindle. So this part is the bottom of my bowl sitting on top of the jaws. So I know now for sure that the diameter is okay. This is okay. The only thing to check could be the angle of the tenon and as you see that's perfect as well so you see perfect tenon easy and if you make your tenon like this make sure that your tool rest is close to the wood so doing it like this of course makes no sense because your tool might break and what is for sure you don't have enough control doing it like this so close to the wood right and what is this carp? Carp is my own brand, Lonnie. That's cool. Yes. Wow. And a carp is always sharp. Well, that's a bad rhyme I now make up. But <laughs> and otherwise it's crap. Yeah, if you mix up the letters, yeah. <laughs>